Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. I told y'all going to be back for this Georgia game. Um, it's a funny story. I was watching someone's I was watching someone's live stream. They were doing something else. They weren't watching the game. Uh, I was preoccupied, preoccupied with, the, with the live. At the same time, of the last, like, 20 seconds, uh, I flipped back to the game, and I was like, what happened? Did he miss the field goal? And he missed the field goal, and it was bad, man. That ball had no no shot again to the, the goal post. That thing was wobbly and wonky, wide left. And I'm like, man, that's how they lost the game. I was like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, Georgia storms back, edges Ohio State to make college football playoff title game. Uh, yeah, they, they had to they had to call back, man, because Ohio State was giving them the business. They got a little too ahead of themselves just because they had defending champs. Thought they was going to have a, you know, they thought they was going to be able to walk in there and just do what they wanted. But, uh, they had to fight for it. Uh, congratulations to them. Uh, Ohio State, they played a heck of a game. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this for the bulk of the second half of its college football playoff semifinal game against Ohio State. It appeared Georgia was not going to get the chance to defend its national championship. Then Stetson Bennett delivered yet another play for the ages. Bennett threw a 10 yard pass to Adone Mitchell, with 54 seconds left, leading the Bulldogs to an improbable 42 41 comeback victory over Ohio State in the Chick fil A Peach Bowl and a spot in the national title game against TCU on January 9th. The Buckeyes had one final shot to win the game, but Noah Ruggles' 50-yard field goal attempt set a wide left with three seconds left. Georgia, which entered the game, which entered the fourth quarter trailing 38-24, completed the largest fourth quarter comeback ever in a college football playoff game. The the oh, the Buckeyes appeared to be in full control in the fourth behind C.J. Stroud, a defense that had dominated up front for a bulk of the game. But Bennett showed the poise that led the Bulldogs to the national title a year ago. Though he had been pressured all night, Bennett delivered when he needed to the most. His 76-yard field goal pass. Whoa. 70, 76-yard field goal pass. How, how do you accomplish that? How do you accomplish that? His 76-yard touchdown pass to a wide open Arian Smith after safety. Lathan Ransom fell down on the play with 841 to play, trimmed an 11 point. Ohio State lead down to three. After Ohio State kicked the field goal to go up by six, Georgia got the ball back with 2.36 to go. Bennett calmly and efficiently left Georgia down the field, capping the drive with the game-winning score. Now Georgia will have a chance to become the the first team to defend its national title since Alabama in 2011-2012. So, yeah, that's just the gist of it. Uh, My thoughts on the game. Uh, It was a good game, uh, much like the TCU game. Ohio State came out and played like played. They played like you would expect a team in the championship to play. They didn't fold against a quote unquote superior talent. And once again, like I said in the other video, uh, people just assumed Georgia was going to blow it away because they had more talent, a better team, and this SEC bias bull crap. Um, I didn't believe that. I already I knew these games were going to be close, competitive. Uh, and then Georgia, I think Georgia got a little a little too far ahead of themselves. They thought they're national champs. They're defending national champs. They thought they'd just go in there and just kind of, you know, kind of do what they wanted against them. Um, like I said, Georgia, you are not on that level yet. You need to win Monday, uh, next Monday on the 9th. And then, you know, then we can have the conversation of, are you guys really a dynasty? Are you for real? Right now, you're defending national champions. You haven't defended your title yet. You're about to. And we'll see where it goes from there. Um, I'm going with TCU just for the story. Uh, I think, like I said, they have no issue going up against physicality. Um uh, people sleep on TCU, but TCU has a, a pretty good defense. I think they'll get Stetson Bennett problems. I think if I had to go between Stetson and Mac and Max Dugan, I would take Dugan any day, any day of the week. I think Stetson. Uh, I, I think I think it's gotten to the point where he's playing he's playing a little too much above his ceiling. 
Uh, and uh, at some point, he has to come down to earth. Uh, I think I think Max Duggan has one more in him. Uh, to, to you know, he had kind of that sh- chip on the shoulder, you know, to prove that his team is for real, and that he deserved that he should have won that Heisman uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll we'll get the news. We'll get uh, you know updates throughout the week uh, leading up to the football game um, on the knife. So yeah, that's all. Uh, great game today. Great game today, or yesterday, I, I should say, uh, New Year's Eve. Like I said, thank you for watching. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, <laughs> West Coast, y'all got to catch up, man. Y'all got three more hours. Uh, so I will see everyone in 2023. Later. Peace.